awesome reaction from our team. I think it um I think it probably showed that we were we had a little bit of uncertainty. Um, but I also think it showed you that this team has been um this is something that they've worked like really, really hard for. So um our body of work has been I think very, very strong. Um, I was concerned about um, our 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 last ten, just because I know that that's something that the committee looks to um, and puts weight in. So we just didn't know. But like I told our team, we're going to get what we've earned, and whatever that is, we're going to take it. We're going to go play, no matter no matter where it's at. So um, really excited um, for this whole team. Really excited for for these two on this Zoom call as well. Rachel Becker is going to get to play in her first regional ever, uh, which is really cool. And then somebody like Shy, who's just totally taken this program to a new height. So good people, great players, um, and excited for this this next journey. I think um, I don't I don't know if surprise is the right word, um, but I wasn't sure, Scott. I mean, la last year I knew that we were going to be in the top eight. Um, I was, I thought we'd be in this six, seven, eight, nine range. I, I, I really felt like that. Um, um, you know, even though our, our PI has been dangling four and five, um, so many things that, um, you know, different teams are doing things. So you just don't, just don't know you have, I haven't seen, you know, we've been lo looking at stuff like, um, adjusted our PI and then looking like what the big, the big discrepancies are and, you haven't seen a lot of teams more move more than five spots. And in this one, you saw a few. So it was kind of inter interesting. So um, it's just hard to tell because you don't know what the committee is going to, um, what they're looking for. Um, but I think it was relief in a way. And I think this team has, has had this on their mind and on their goals so strong. I think it's part of why we played um, – under under the standard the last 13 games because I think as we got closer to this and this was becoming the reality that they wanted I think we all were a, a little bit tight um and I think it showed in our play so I'm just like I said maybe the word is surprise I don't know I don't know what the exact word is but relieved was one of those things and I think in our reaction I think there was a little bit of that I think it was probably everything Jenny to be honest I heard I heard Alabama had 10 of those too. That's why they were up there. Um, so we had, we had, you know, 10 top 25 RPI wins. I think that's what we're learning is, is what the committees are, are going to value. And that's why I've constantly said, we have to play this great schedule. Um, you know, we didn't win any of those against OU and didn't win, win any against, uh, against Texas. Um, but um, but we played, you know, we we played outside of our conference, played a great schedule. Um, our conference obviously helped us, um, which it hasn't done in the in the uh, past years. I think that the RPI for our conference is number one, if I read that right, um, which was like a shocker to me, uh, just because we don't have as many teams um, as some of the, these others do. But the Florida State wins, the Baylor wins. Um, those are all big time wins. Uh, Oregon er, early. Um, it's our body of work is really good. And um, again, that's why we go to Clearwater no matter what, uh, because you got to go put yourself in those spots. Like I told our team, those tournaments are what prepare you for this time of year, but it's also what earns you these type of seeds.
Jordan, are, are we ready or do you want to wait for a bit? We were uh, we were just making sure that you were on. I think uh, we're just about in the seven fifteen mark. If you want to start us off, and then as people want to jump in or out, uh, they're welcome to. But if you want to open us up, and then all three of you guys, you Rachel Becker, Cheyenne Factor, will be available for uh, for questions. So you can go ahead and fire away as the head coach of the number six seeded Oklahoma State Cowgirls. Okay. Um. Uh, awesome. Um. Awesome reaction from our team i think it um i think it probably showed that we were we had a little bit of uncertainty um but i also think it showed you that this team has been um this is something that they've worked like really really hard for so um our body of work has been i think very very strong um i was concerned about um our 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 last 10 just because i know that that's something that the committee looks to um, and puts weight in. So we just didn't know. But like I told our team, we're going to get what we've earned. And whatever that is, we're going to take it. We're going to go play no matter no matter where it's at. So um, really excited um, for this whole team. Really excited for, for these two on this Zoom call as well. Rachel Becker is going to get to play in her first regional ever, uh, which is really cool. And then somebody like Shy, who's just – totally taken this program to a new height. So good people, great players, um, and excited for this, this next journey. Jordan, do we have a, do we have a formal format to this? Should we like use the raise hand or anything? Yeah. If you guys uh, feel free to uh, raise your hand and then obviously when you start off, well, actually, I guess we'll start with Kenny since you won't be able to address who you need to address until you start to speak. So we'll start with questions for head coach Kenny Gajewski, um, and he'll answer in order of whoever's raised their hand, and then Cheyenne Factor, Rachel Becker, uh, after coach. Looks like we got Scott Wright with the Oklahoma. All right, uh, Kenny, if you could uh, expound a little bit more. You, you, you addressed it pretty good right there, but um, – a little bit of, of surprise. I mean, you talked after the uh, after the game the other day. You thought you kind of were leaning toward seven to ten range. Was was six a uh, a surprise to you at all? I I think um, I don't I don't know if surprise is the right word, um, but I wasn't sure, Scott. I mean, la last year I knew that we were going to be in the top eight. Um, I was I thought we'd be in the six, seven, eight, nine range. I I, I really felt like that. Um, um, you know, even though our RPI has been dangling four and five, um, there's just so many things that are going on and um, so many things that, um, you know, different teams are doing things. So you just don't just don't know. You have I haven't seen, you know, we've been lo looking at stuff like um, adjusted RPI and then looking like what the big the big discrepancies are. And you haven't seen a lot of teams more move more than five spots. And in this one you saw a few. So it was kind of inter interesting. So um, it's just hard to tell because you don't know what the committee is going to, um, what they're looking for. Um, but I think it was relief in a way. And I think this team has, has had this on their mind and on their goals so strong. I think it's part of why we played um, under, under the standard the last 13 games because I think as we got closer to this and this was becoming the reality that they wanted, I think we all were a, a little bit tight. Um, and I think it showed in our play. So I'm just, like I said, maybe the word is surprise. I don't know. I don't know what the exact word is, but relieved was one of those things. And I think in our reaction, I think there was a little bit of that. I hope that answers that, Scott. Jenny Carlson with the Oklahoma up next. Hey, Kenny, I think I counted your top 25 RPI uh, wins were 10, including two against Florida State, which ended up as the number three seed. How much do you feel like that Florida State series getting two or three over them may have been sort of a, a difference maker for you guys? I think it was probably everything, Jenny. To be honest, I heard, I heard Alabama had 10 of those too. That's why they were up there. Um, so we had, we had, you know, 10 – Top 25 RPI wins. I think that's what we're learning is is what the c c committees are 
are going to value. And that's why I've constantly said we have to play this great schedule. Um, you know, we didn't win any of those against OU and didn't win, win any against uh, against Texas. Um, but um, but we played, you know, we we played outside of our conference, played a great schedule. Um, our conference obviously helped us, um, which it hasn't done in the in the uh, past years. I think that the RPI for our conference is number one, if I read that right, um, which was like a shocker to me, uh, just because we don't have as many teams um, as some of the, these others do. But the Florida State wins, the Baylor wins. Um, those are all big time wins. Uh, Oregon er, early. Um, it's our body of work is really good. And um, again, that's why we go to Clearwater no matter what, uh, because you got to go put yourself in those spots. Like I told our team, those tournaments are what prepare you for this time of year, but it's also what earns you these type of seeds. You you hit on this the other day, Kenny, after the, the Kansas game, but needing to, I mean, obviously you guys have wanted this, this top eight for super regional purposes, but considering where you are right now, you got to go win regional. Um, you see a, a, you know, a couple teams that you've already played twice this year in Nebraska and Wichita State beat Nebraska twice, lost Wichita State twice. Is, is this sort of the type of regional setup that is a little bit of an eye-opener? Like, yes, you got the, the super regional where you wanted it, but this is not a, a gimme regional either? No, I, I didn't. I told our team, I said, just understand no matter where you're at, uh, we're going to get tough teams. We, I think we all knew that Wichita State was coming here. So that wasn't a shock at all. Um, <clears throat> when their name popped up, I just looked around and I was like, okay, here's, you know, you, you guys owe them. Uh, let's, let's, let's prepare, but we have to beat, our, we have to win our first game first and they have to win, to win as well. So, um, I knew this regional would be tough. Um, all of them are tough. There's not an easy one around people look at names on boards and have no I, idea what these teams have done. We know what teams have done. We're very respectful of all of them, and um, we can't wait to, to play. I don't know anything. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, Jordan's working on g getting me some stuff now. Uh, we're in Broke Kimbo with good Wi-Fi, so we'll be uh, breaking down um, on our uh, video systems kind of who they are and what they're about. Uh, we know a little bit about the other two, so we don't need to jump onto them, you know, quite so fast. But we will jump in on UMBC immediately, um, get to know them, who they are, what they're about. We'll be able to pull their last games up on ESPN Plus. So we'll do that here in our our cabin as a staff and just ju just kind of watch them and learn who they are. Um, but um, we will be very respectful of um, anybody that we play. They're a champion. That's why they, they, they're. That's why they're in this. They know how to win. Um, they're like, like I told our team. Um, everybody in this tournament has hope again. Um, it's like it's like opening day. The slate is o o, and it doesn't matter what you've done. You better show up and play, or you'll get beat. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.